Uh, Wolfgang started here. I'm actually going to grab my water. Okay. <laughs> the said. So I've been munching. Yeah. Uh, so we have the only airing of the visit at $29.95. Well, cheaper than a sous chef, right? <laughs> you know what? And this, they don't ask for overtime. Yeah, this or vacation. is a perfect little machine because everybody needs to chop things, yep. everybody needs to dice things, to puree things. I know in, for example, for me to make a little salsa at home, we always yeah. have uh, uh, chips at home, you know, the, the tortilla chips. Yeah. But if you have a salsa, you have tomatoes at home, sure. or you have fruits at home, whatever yeah. it is, you can make a pineapple salsa, you can make one with papaya or with mango. You can. So it depends what is in season. All you have to do is throw it in here yes. with a little onion, and a I... little jalapeno, a little lime juice, and it's and you're done. Set. And oh, by the way, Rick, can we, uh, well, at some point we'll also show the little aerator. Okay, we let, can... let's go, yep. look at All that. All right, let's do the salsa. <laughs> Get that doing the salsa. And notice that he's got full, like, little Campari tomatoes yeah. in there. So there's not a lot of prep before the prep. You, so you know how much And I'm, you just pulsated yeah. like, just like that. Yep, so you're in complete control. Yeah. I mean, you really are. Uh, I have to say, this is one of my favorite little appliances in my kitchen. I use it all the time because I don't have great knife skills. Maybe a little more. So if you want to do fresh sauces or gazpachos, if you want to make sorbet from frozen fruit, yeah. if you want to do fat-free whipped cream with, you know, your skim milk, I mean, why not? Exactly. Now, look at that. So you yeah. have a salsa here. All you have to do then is yep. make it as chunky or you can right. make it as fine as you're you want. You're in complete control. And you know, you're going to taste that. You're going to say, oh my God, I didn't yeah. know it tastes so good. I know. And see, that's just it. A lot of us don't realize, if you see an expiration date on that jar of salsa yeah. from the, the grocery store, and you see it, it expires in like a year or, or I know. more. Oh, with the <laughs> ingredients yeah. in there, you don't even know uh, yeah. what they are. You have to be a chemist or somebody uh, like yeah. that Makes you a little to nervous. figure it out. You say, what is that? And you know, look at anything these yep. days. They have so many ingredients which I don't know how they get right. into food. Well, I know. So, and this is a little homemade pesto? This is a pesto. For yeah. example, in the old time we made pesto in the mortar with the oh, pesto, oh, yes, you yes, know. Yes, yep. It takes half an hour to That's, do that. And nuts. then you have to try to strain it. You have yep. all the fibers in there. Now, with this, it's so simple. And what's so cool about this, I mean, we know fresh is best, yeah. but most of us are not doing homemade sauces or homemade gazpacho or homemade pesto because we don't like the prep, right? I mean, it's, exactly. it's, it's a hassle. Yeah. If you saw what Wolfgang did, you threw the full basil leaves in whole there. Whole basil leaves, whole, whole garlic whole cloves, garlic pine nuts, cloves. whatever yeah. we have. You yeah. can add parsley, you can right. add walnut, whatever pesto yeah. you like. Pour a little oil in there. A little olive oil, and that's it. And look, and look at pesto. I, I, I'm serious. It's going to change. Can, can you oh, see look that? At, even the color is look so much that. better. You isn't put it? that. Look at that. You put Beautiful. that on your pasta. Are you kidding me? All you have to do is boil the pasta and throw that on top with a little parmesan. Salsa. You know and like people salsa. are gonna say, oh my God, this yeah. is amazing. How did yeah. you do that? You know, know, it's just fresh is always better. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That puts any jar of salsa to shame. I know, totally. It really does. And you can make it at home. It doesn't cost any money. Really, you know, a few tomatoes, it's easy. And that's just it. Fresh is best. Mm -hmm. And Marianne, show us how to make our Skim milk. Oh, oh yes, coffee? in fact, you know what, Rick? Yeah. Before, I love this. As Marianne does this, I just okay. want to show you the graphic because you do, there's, the only thing you need to get is yeah. this little aerating disc. The aerating disc, And yeah. that turns it into like this frother, whipped cream maker, I mean, go down the list. Yeah, so this is non-fat Right, milk. not fat-free milk. Cold. Yep. Nice and cold, that helps, right? It does. How okay. much should we put That's in good. like this? That's good. All right. All right. Got that little aerating disc in yeah, there. Yeah, get the aerating disc right in here. Okay. We put that on top. Yep. See, it sits itself on top. <laughs> there you go, Wolf. Let her go. Okay. And how, how, how fast? You can see it's almost done already. <laughs> Like in a couple of seconds. Yeah. Remind you again, that's fat free skim milk. I know. Come on. Fat so free if, skim look, milk. look at that. So if you want to put that in the morning on the coffee. Oh, get out that. of town. So that has like virtually no calories. I mean, let's yeah. be honest.
but it's the texture, the look it, of it. Yeah, so you don't miss anything. Yeah. See, that's just like the steamer. We all want to eat, but we just don't want the fat, right? Yeah. So, uh, Rick, I'll just double check. I know there are only 1,200 of these to go around. Do we have both the red and the black? But we do. So the red is the most limited, 1,200 and 1,200 Okay, man, you're going to make us a cocktail or what? I want to. It's the uh, end of the show. Okay, we'll work a little oh, bit. <laughs> pineapple margarita. Okay. So oh frozen gosh. pineapple. Frozen okay. pineapple. The booze is Rum. in the bottom okay. if you want it, or you right. can make it virgin. Or tequila. Yeah. Or make it smoothie for the kids. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, you can add whatever you like. You could do a little sorbet, like. a little yeah. granita, it And I matter. love your lid, Wolfgang, because with just the gasket that's silicone around it, yeah. I love that you don't have to line it up with nope. anything. You just plunk it down, yep. put your motor right on top, and then with one little pinky, you can make it work with low or high. Yeah. Watch how easy. Yep. Yeah. And look how nice. It just curates oh, it. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. I like that. But you know, that's the other thing. You know, I have, Wolfgang, I have your original food processor, and I love it. However, I don't take it out a lot, yeah, no, right? No, no, me too. I, I, often in the morning when I make smoothies for Oliver right. and for me, I make it with berries and right. I just use that. Yeah. See, and that's well, why... It's almost like a sorbet. And that's why I love this so much. You do use this every day. It's not a hassle to clean. Yeah. It doesn't take up a lot of room in your kitchen cabinet. There's not a lot of crazy blades. In fact, you know what? Do I have... Can I show one of the blades? No. Sure. Frank, do we happen to... Oh, you know what? I've got one over here. I'm just going to grab one. I just want you guys to see these blades here real quickly. Thank you, my friend. Uh, this is... The reason we call it the quad chop, because we've got all yeah. these loaded with food, is the food drops through the blade exactly. system. Them. And that's why you get this uniform, fantastic chop. And you can hear Wolfgang pulsing this. So, so I pulse it to get yep. my chop parsley. Look at that, we yeah. have parsley in here. And I don't want to make it run too right. long, so I just pulse it a little yeah. by little. So even chopped herbs in this. So it's yeah. BPA-free, triton plastic, so it doesn't warp or tarnish or oxidize. Yeah. And I'm telling you, you're going to use this thing every single day yeah. you know whether it's denver omelets or you're grinding meat or yeah. you're chopping ice or you're doing so you a decide smoothie. how fine or how coarse yeah. you want if you want to chop it really fine right i like little speckles on it so yep. i don't chop it generally too fine yeah i mean but it's not all wet and gooey like yeah. exactly. so many little choppers just I know. I know. the bottom of it you Yours can see it's all, all yep. dry it's look at see that so, so it's perfect and you choose the consistency that's yeah. the other thing that's so cool about this so it is five minutes or sell out this this is the only airing of the visit. It is less than a $10 flex pay. Red is getting very, very limited here. So really and truly from soup to nuts. Yeah. If you are looking for the perfect, perfect companion in your kitchen, chances are, I think Wolfgang, we've all done it, where you look at a recipe and if the prep is too much, we don't make it. I know. Isn't it true? It's like, oh, too oh that's too much the, chopping. Oh, the that's chopping too much and yeah. everything is like, too much. And that's really the hardest thing right, for anybody at home is do all all the prep right. work. Now here it is so simple. If you want to have some leftover chicken like we just steamed there, yeah. the leftover, cut it up, move it, maybe some raisins, celery, yeah. capers, Ooh, whatever, a little good. mayo, and then just chop yeah. it. So, like a homemade chicken salad. Yeah. But you know, you could do baby food. You can do your smoothies. You can chop cheese or chocolate or herbs. I mean, the, the list really, it, it's endless. It's, yeah. it's all on your, your own imagination. And the cool thing is you will find yourself eating healthier more often yep. because now suddenly the prep is not agonizing. You don't, I know. You don't so obsess. Look at that. I just chop them up coarsely. Yeah. This could be egg salad, the tuna salad. You don't get Meat your loaf. hands dirty, and that's it. Yep, absolutely. And you, you look at this now. Very look what Wolfgang has done yeah, in a couple of minutes. Fat-free skim re into whipped cream and salsa and pureed yeah. pesto and that beautiful little uh, pineapple margarita, your chicken salad. Okay. Blueberry ice cream. Look Blue at blueberry that. Blueberry ice Frozen cream. Frozen blueberry. Okay. Milk. Right? You can add a little honey if you want to. Mm. And we need the motor. See, it sits by itself right in there, right. so it's Final easy. Final 300 red, by the way. Come on, that was like three ingredients. Yeah, I know. I mean, read the label on an ice cream yeah. carton sometime. So you can see from the bottom up, it gets... Yep. 
So there's that quad blade system where it's kind of pulling it down yeah. like a little vortex. Exactly. And that's what's so cool. You don't have to worry about a lot of attachments. You don't have to worry about yeah. a lot of blades. You don't have to worry about a lot of switching out. No, Basically, no. you put the top on yeah. and you hit that button. And in less than a minute, you have ice cream. You yeah. can see it's almost done. Look at how thick that is. Yeah. Beautiful. I oh, love man. this demonstration. And again, the frozen blueberries, cream, Jerry, can or, you milk? Okay. Milk? or milk. Or milk. Yeah. Okay. And the sweetener of your choice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So you could use like a stevia if you wanted yeah, or something or like that. Like I add a little honey yeah. to it. Oh, yeah. I love honey with it. My kids love okay. honey too. So now look That's at perfect. it. Beautiful. All right, we have the final 1,000. This is the only airing so of the visit. this was made with frozen blueberries. Wow. I oh. buy it just to make this. I know. <laughs> okay. Can you believe that? Yeah. With no frozen ice cream yeah. crap. And no all, funny stuff. No, no funny stuff. All natural. Nope. Mm -hmm. Okay, I gotta try a sip bite of this too. I tell you, you guys are making me crazy tonight. It's a good thing I was on the treadmill today. Hmm. <laughs> think you're gonna have a party tonight? I think I might have to. Yeah. Holy you invite man. the whole neighborhood to your house? I think I might. Mm. Come on over. Okay, I have Is to try a bite delicious? of this. Is that not delicious? It's so great. And you can taste oh, the blueberry. Look, okay, look mm -hmm. at how yeah. thick that is. Can you guys see that? Is that just not no. off There's the never charts? many choppers that no. can make you ice cream yeah. like that, Sean. Come on. If you only bought it to make mm -hmm. ice cream. I know. It could be a raspberry, any berries mm -hmm. you like, or a mango, mm. whatever it is. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Mm. Did you use honey in that one? Mm -hmm. oh, honey. oh, that is honey. A little bit, yeah. Ooh, that's I good. don't like it too sweet, but you add mm. as much sweet as you want. You can add also, you know, stevia or what you said, yeah. any other thing. If oh, you like good. it sweet, or oh, add boy. a little bit of wine. We do that sometimes, but you know don't. what, here's the other thing, because this is the time of night where I think we all want like a little sweet treat. I don't feel bad about this. I don't have to. Yeah. Because there's just a little bit, you know, milk or cream. Yeah. You know, a Mostly bit of milk because yep. cream is, makes it really sure, rich. So absolutely. I'll just add milk to it yeah, and, and a little touch of cream you know if you like it's, to. It's, you're getting your fruit in. Yeah. You know, it's not, but this is a serving of my fruit. I mean, that's what's so fun about this. So now when you're having that late night snack attack, make homemade ice cream that's, you know, mostly fruit and you don't even feel bad exactly. about it. Exactly. You don't feel bad. About. And it's not overly sweet. It's you not. know that's how the saying. ice creams are always so yeah, overly full of sugar. Yeah. This one, oh, you this add as much as you want because mm. the blueberries were natural and then you add a little bit of oil. Mm. What are you making? Mm. So Start this is my... Parmesan cheese because okay. you can grate your own from bread without any other funny stuff in here. Wolf is still eating ice cream <laughs> as he's chopping Parmesan. That yeah. is a man who's dedicated to his craft but has I a know, sweet tooth at the same two, time. Two at the same, yeah. See, he's multitasking. I know, totally. But if that doesn't and show why? You, because we can. Yeah. Because you can. But, but if that doesn't show you how easy this is to operate, yeah. if Wolf now didn't have to put down his Parmesan ice cream before, spoon. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my word. You know, I'm not going to stop with this ice cream. This is crazy good. Now, this could be coffee in here, mm -hmm. anything you oh, have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Marion, what do you have over there? So that's cheesecake, and this is probably what I use it for the most, is chopping up the onions and garlic, because every great dinner starts with those. But to get out a knife takes forever. When you can cut the prep dime down, <laughs> it lets you say yes to making dinner at home more often. Yeah. Yeah. I love it And also, skin, milk, you know, your fingers this. don't smell. I know when that's I cut true. a lot of onions with my hand on garlic, I take a shower, and then I smell Smell my fingers in mm -hmm. bed. I said, "Oh my God! I thought I washed. I thought I took a shower." I know. Well, you know what? If you're doing a Valentine's Day, yeah, the, uh, the onion and garlic kind of, you know, ruins it's the mood. Don't get anybody excited <laughs> in the bedroom. Right? Maybe in the exactly. kitchen, yeah, but not but in the bedroom. It's still dry. It's not all pureed like so yeah. many of right. the smaller choppers do. Wolfgang's does it perfectly. Mm. Mm. And what about your cheesecake, Marianne? Okay, this one just takes seconds. So just the cream cheese in, and it can handle that whole pound. Oh man, for with cheesecake? With no problem at all. Yeah. Come on. The ingredients Eggs go in. Eggs and sugar. Your lid, remember, you get to just put it on willy-nilly because it has that big silicone gasket. Your motor goes on top, and then you have high or low, and you can use one pinky to do the trick. Yeah. So here's the thing. We have the final 900, the final 900. Uh, 200 only in that red. This is the only airing of the visit. I don't know if this is coming back, to be honest with you, because that yeah. price reduction 
is something that they did basically for the show. So no kidding whether you love to cook, whether you love to bake. I have to say, this, this blueberry ice cream, I'm going to start doing that now. <laughs> I'm going to do that every night. Yeah. No, no I'm I serious. Know. It's like, because it's so funny. I love vegetables, but I'm not much of a fruit eater. Uh -huh. But this, I love. And now I'm getting some of my fruit in, and it tastes Oh, like in the morning dessert. when it's hot right. outside yeah. for a smoothie. You know, you use sure. a little low-fat milk, yeah. add a little oh, yogurt to it, and the blueberries, and you have a great shake in the morning. Right. Maybe a little it's of right your powder, too. you know, the yeah. protein powder. For sure. But I can do strawberries yeah. if I wanted. Yeah. If I want to do like a mango raspberries, sorbet. Raspberries, blackberries. Yeah. yeah. Raspberries, blackberries. I mean, it's entirely up to you. Uh -huh. So just feast mm. your eyes on everything that Wolf and Marion have done for you. I'm telling you, if you only got it to do the ice cream. And I remind you again, frozen blueberries, a little milk, right? Just a frozen honey. blueberries, a little yeah. milk or cream, mm -hmm. you know. And then you added honey. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. And look at that. Or you add a little sugar if you want yeah. to, whatever whatever you feel like, how sweet you want it, you know, it's easy. That's crazy. Sometimes good. the fruit is sweet enough, it doesn't even need it. Yeah. I know. This cheap is like banana. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, even bananas, frozen bananas. That mm. would be really good. If you have super ripe uh, bananas, they right. don't look so good anymore. You yes. chop them up a little bit, yeah. oh, put them in the freezer, that. and then you make great sure. sugar. Right. What are you going to make? If, One more if, milk? Well, if you struggle with your weight like I do, but you love the coffee because you're cranky in the morning till you have it, <gasps> but you want that nice creaminess, I love your aerator, Wolfgang. Yeah. I think it's Now genius. show them what it is. Okay. Take it out. So okay. this is how it looks. And you need it, just get it, because watch what it can do. Put it in, this is fat-free milk. Mm. Just pull it about an inch, maybe. And then you're gonna just uh, let it go until it stops dancing around in the jug, and you'll see how beautifully stiff it and is. how fast. It's beautiful, genius mm. design. And Rick, how many of those aerators do we have? Probably not very many. Oh, only 300. Uh -huh. You can add cocoa and vanilla and a little I bit know. of like sweet to this, and yeah. like a mousse. But look, oh, look that's how a good cool idea. this is, right? Look, <laughs> it's oh, crazy. Man. Fat free skim milk. Skim milk. That is cuckoo. Isn't it gorgeous? Th that's cuckoo. Fat free skim milk. That, that I mean, and wow. Add raspberry to it. Make like a raspberry. See, that's yeah. just it. But it, I mean, it satisfies that it craving that I have. It keeps me on yeah, track. Yeah, because you want that creaminess. Mm -hmm. But you know, that's that, that's where the calories come mm -hmm. for. In, in a cappuccino or a latte. I know. If you, if you have a cappuccino foam. and you put the, two tablespoons right. of. Uh, milk on top or mm -hmm. whipped right. cream or whatever it is, you know, it has right away a few hundred calories. So and how much money you'd save doing Ooh. it at home, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm. And if you have friends over, you can serve them a cappuccino like that, and people mm -hmm. are going to say, oh my God, this it's is true. something I never saw. All right. I don't know who's enjoyed the ice cream more, you or me. Well, <laughs> I just continue to eat it. You go on to the next <laughs> thing. Guys. Oh, it's so funny. I'm taking mine with me. You know, I use that in the morning, and actually, I use the fresh berries from the market. Oh, that's a good I idea. put them in the freezer, yeah. and then really in the idea. summertime when it's cold, instead of